<laughs> you managed to get so far. Bravo. Hey! Why are you siding with this terrible person? I can't believe it. You were so nice to me. How can you do this? <clears throat> hmm. What a lively bunch of would-be heroes to have defeated the Benevodons. <sighs> Look how powerful the sword has become now that it is infused with their combined energy. <laughs> this is its true strength. Now I shall absorb this power into my body. I will live forever. An immortal soul stronger than the goddess of mana herself. The perfect being. Behold! I will become a god! to flow within me. No longer will it channel the goddess's energy. The sword of mana as you know it will be lost forever. You must see the end is inevitable. <laughs> what? Ah! Oh, the pain! <sighs> what? I... The surge of light is holding me back. It is coming from the sanctuary. The goddess is not yet destroyed. <sighs> Very well. Once I cut down the tree, the goddess will be no more. The last of the mana power will disappear and I will be complete. I am off to the sanctuary. Deal with this. Oh no! The goddess of mana is in danger! I will not let you impede my master's plan. You shall not leave this place alive. Hey! Snap out of it! It's me! Your friend Charlotte! Don't you know me? Charlotte? Oh. I do not know you. Hey! No! This is where you will perish. I don't want to fight you, he! Stop it! Please! Do not despair. Death will grant you a final respite. You aren't making any sense, he. Don't act like you don't know me. If you don't listen, you'll be sorry. I'll do anything. Wake up, he. Stop. Stop your ridiculous sobbing. No. I won't stop until you are back to normal. Remember when you saved me? This time, it's my turn to save you! Hey! Where are 
am I? Don't speak! You're hurt! Uh, do not worry about me. You must get to the Sanctuary of Mana and stop the, the Masked Mage. No, Heath! I won't leave you like this! Listen to me, Charlotte. The Masked Mage is... In the past, Wendell was overseen by two priests. One of light and one of dark. Two halves of the same whole. The Priest of Light was Charlotte's grandfather. And Belgar, the Priest of Dark, was my father. One time, my father came across a deathly ill child so sick that they couldn't be saved by the power of light. Instead, he turned to the forbidden reviving arts for an answer. He became obsessed with cheating death. With his new dark powers, he tried to save the girl. But it was too late. But... My father's obsession with the forbidden dark magic was rejected by the Temple of Light. He was thrown out for his crimes. To make matters worse, my father's face was horribly scarred by his newfound powers. He began to wear a mask to cover his head. But such a mask could do little to hide the evil growing within him. With Wendell against him, my father attempted to use his own body to test out his new reviving skills. He became... immortal. A dark lich. Unstoppable now that he has the Benevodon's power. Practically a god. I tried to make my father see reason. He was once a good, honest man. But his heart is only darkness now. Even I fell to its corruption. I am just a reanimated corpse. You helped me recover my corrupted soul from the dark depths into which I had sunk. But even though the battle brought me back to my senses for now, it is only a matter of time before I fall again. This is my last chance to say goodbye. Charlotte? I know you can do this. You can defeat my father and save the world from evil. I believe in you. Heath! What are you doing? Charlotte. Everyone. May Mana be with you. Mercy for him! I know 
you are sad, fairy. But we have to get to the Goddess of Mana, now! Enjoy! <laughs> 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 The Tree of Mana needs our help. Well, easy pickings. <laughs> Up and be up. No time. Oh, is this will be okay? You now. Go. No time for <laughs> take down the enemy. You. <laughs> you will be around. Sanctuary is destroyed. Go. Seriously. Huh. withered completely and the goddess of mana is no more. How could you? Ha! You are becoming weaker by the minute without the Tree of Mana to sustain you. Understandable, as fairies are born of the tree in order to protect it. Of course, you would perish without a purpose. Fear not, I will soon make you all my undead servants, bound to serve and protect me in this new age. <laughs> You would prefer death to servitude. <laughs> what fools. You are throwing away the opportunity to serve an invincible god. No matter. 
I have no need of servants, for I am all powerful. Oh, do you even know how long I have awaited this day? My loathing for humanity has been hidden beneath this mask. I've been concealing my true essence inside this mortal shell. But now my time has come. I will unleash this poison anger and condemn humanity to utter destruction. Do you wish to see my true form underneath this disguise? Behold! <laughs> this is the real me! I resurrected my own body with dark magic in order to overcome death itself! Do you not see? Now I, a dark lich, am stronger than the gods! No need to fight any longer. I will end you all! <laughs> oh, what is hurting me so? This ends here and now! Even without the tree or mana power to help us, we will never give up. Not without a fight! Not as long as our hero, the Chosen One of the Mana Sword, is here! Without mana, elementals and spirits may disappear from the realm. But you should not lose hope. You will be creating a new world for everyone! Come! You must stand up and fight! The future is in your hands! Whether you can see us or not, we'll be with you always. So keep fighting! You can't lose! Defeating me! I am like a god, and you have no weapon that stands a chance in the face of immortality! Give up! You're wrong! Don't you see? Even without the physical mana sword, as long as the chosen one is here, the sword that lives in all of our hearts, that we call hope, will never disappear! Foolish mortals, I will destroy any hope you have lingering in your bodies. Face the wrath of your new god! Oh, oh this is it! Final battle!
impossible. This is impossible. Person, someone with a pure heart that they trust completely. That fairy can become the new tree and goddess of the mana in the world. To bring that mana, the mana we have lost, back into this realm. I must take the tree's place and sleep here in the sanctuary. It may yet take a thousand years for me to restore all of the mana. But... If in a thousand years your descendants still remember the Tree of Mana, I will awaken. <laughs> I'm sure I can help them in their hour of need as well. But until I am needed in the future, I will remain here, asleep, quietly protecting the world as this tree. This... This is where we part. My brave heroes, farewell. May the Sword of Mana, the one that lives in all your hearts, shine on forever. Jessica, are you okay? As you can see, she's doing fine! <laughs> Navarro thieves from all around the world have been coming back to the fortress. We should go back too! Father! Jessica. And Hawkeye, I fear I have been trapped in a nightmare for far too long. I was informed about what happened to Eagle. That is why I intend to honor his memory by bringing his beloved Thief Guild back to its former glory. Now that mana as we have known it no longer exists in this world, the water in this desert will soon dry up. Therefore, our next target is clear. 
We must steal water and greenery from nature itself. This desert was once a lush and fertile land. We must find a way to bring back the rain and make it hospitable once again. We cannot let the people here suffer. Not on our watch. Grandpa! Charlotte! Oh, you are safe. I could never have faced your dearly departed parents if something had happened to you. I'm so relieved to see you unharmed. Heath himself managed to cure my illness. A vision of him came to me one night. He used forbidden dark magic to undo the curse and save me, sacrificing himself. Then he disappeared. I tried to stop him. There was no need for him to throw his life away for this old man's sake. But he wanted to atone for the darkness in his soul before it was too late. Goddess of Mana saved me. When I sacrificed my corrupted soul, I found myself lost in a dark abyss. But suddenly, a warm light rushed over me, and I heard the Goddess speak. The Goddess gave me what was left of her fairy life force and brought me back from the darkness. I would not be here if not for her. She saved my body and my soul. Charlotte, are you okay? <laughs> it's okay. I will not leave you again. Hey, don't cry. You know the goddess is looking at this and laughing. Let your anger cloud your judgment. Take stock of your situation before you act. Uh, huh? You still believe that you killed Carl? See for yourself. Gorman's illusions merely made Carl's body seem lifeless. Then you failed to think clearly and assumed the worst. I saved him myself from the shallow grave you dug. King, I, I was wrong about you. <sighs> it served my purpose. You have always been quick to give in to weakness. I needed you stronger, physically and mentally. You mistakenly thought your mother left you when she actually passed away from illness. 
I never told you, so that your anger would turn toward me. What? I sought to use your anger to bring out your power. But that is not true strength. True strength is being able to overcome your anguish. I care not for revenge or the mana sword. I created Ferolia because I could not tolerate the pitiful state beastmen were in. Humans were relentless in their oppression of our people. I could not sit idly by. I tried to give the kingdom a shared goal by suggesting an invasion. My people were no longer bound by their fear of humans. It is my creed to reject all weakness. What matters in life is strength of will and body. You have finally begun your journey towards strength and self-reliance, Kevin. Always fight for what you believe in. I will. My friends and I will keep fighting for this world. Even without mana. For the sake of the future. And I will surpass you. I will! <laughs> I am not yet old and feeble enough to lose to you. Go now, Kevin. <laughs> oh, Prince forever, Carl. Always. And see? My new friends! They are your friends, too! <laughs> Find more and more friends, Carl!
Hmm. What is this? Where am I? Oh, oh, I see. This world is... <laughs> Twilight.